So hey guys, what's up? Me, Pager here once again with The Flash, and over the past few seasons we have seen many villains from the comics connected to The Flash used on the show. Essentially we have seen almost all of them, well at least the classic villains and ones of note, and well essentially all the good ones for the most part. But of course the beautiful thing with comic book TV shows and movies as well is that comics about those characters are still being written and developed to this day. Which of course means that new characters are being created or developed currently which means that in the near future they would be primed and ready to make their live action appearances on either TV or the big screen. And of course that includes the big villains as well not just the heroes. Of course we had DC Rebirth kick off a couple of years ago and with the Flash comics the first big new villain that we had introduced was Godspeed. Well antagonist is probably the best word to use, not villain. Now Godspeed was teased before the comics for DC Rebirth even started being printed and sold so there was already a lot of hype around the character. And this sort of will be a running point brought up throughout the video. That was based off his suit. People were excited because his suit looked cool and I guess because his name was cool. Like I must admit Godspeed is a pretty badass name. So just to, you know, give some context to this whole video, I'm just going to have to quickly go over Godspeed from the comics. So from the get-go, spoiler alert I guess, uh, Godspeed is August Hart who was a workmate of Barry Allen's at CCPD. August's brother was murdered and the murderer was let free after the evidence for the case was, in a straight up connection to the Flash, uh, was destroyed when uh, Barry's lab was struck by lightning. You know, that incident. But long story short, for all this setup, August gets hit with lightning as well, becomes a speedster, and so do many other people within Central City. Godspeed in the meantime starts killing other speedsters and taking their speed, and in some cases, August was, you know, involved there and was also the sole witness to it all. But when Godspeed kills the lead suspect in the murder of August's brother, Barry, you know, as you would expect him to do, connects the dots and realizes that Godspeed is actually August. Even though if you were reading the comic at the time, this was not a surprise at all. It was so obvious it was not even funny. But essentially when it came down to it, Godspeed was just sick of the justice system and wanted to take the law essentially into his own hands in regards to his brother's murder. Now that is actually a decent arc that I will incorporate better later on. So at this point in the comics, Godspeed is a villain. Sure, he was just trying to seek justice, but he killed and injured innocent people along the way. So in my opinion, at least, he is a villain at this point in the story. However, as the story of August progressed in the comics, he does help Barry take down the rogues and admits to Barry that whilst in Iron Heights, he has been able to just, you know, sit down and realize that what he was doing as Godspeed was completely wrong and that all he wants is just to be forgiven, in particular by Barry Allen himself. And even soon after this, we do see him assist Barry in some other endeavors. So pretty quickly in the comics, Godspeed goes from a villain, like a straight up typical villain, to an anti-hero of sorts. Now he isn't like Barry now, he isn't just some new hero for people to look up to, he still did some messed up stuff, but there is no way in my opinion once again, that you could categorize him as a villain or a hero. So for the majority of the comics now, he has been in that like anti-hero grey sort of uh, area. And that's really the major issue. People have been screaming that they want Godspeed as a villain for a season of The Flash on TV, when in reality his villain's like arc was pretty damn short. If they tried to make a season around that story or even some like anything similar to that, it would be so basic, so uninteresting and just well, uneventful. And also, if he is going around stealing speed to get more powerful and he does that by killing others to get their powers and stuff like that, then it not it like basically just the same or it's like a combination of Zoom and DeVoe? It's not that original and that is like strange seeing that the character ex is extremely new to the comics in comparison to some like other potential antagonists. So, uh, yeah. So the only way you could incorporate him as a villain would be to change up his story completely, which, well, this is the way I'm seeing it at least. Wouldn't that take away everything about him that people have been like putting forward as to why he would be a good villain? Because I think it would. And if people didn't care about them changing up all of that and essentially just changing his story completely, then my initial point I brought up earlier would stand true, and that is that people only wanted him on the show because his suit looked cool and he had a cool name. So due to all the tinkering that would have to be done in order to accommodate him for a whole season and make him, you know, somewhat original, I'm going to lay out a plan in which I think, you know, you could bring August Hart, aka Godspeed, to the Flash TV show and have it not only work, but be a great story as well. So just pretend it's Earth 36 and I'm head writer or showrunner for The Flash, one of those two positions. I'm happily married to Nora Allen, all is good. Now the way in which I would incorporate Godspeed into a season of The Flash would be to do something similar to what they did in the comics, which is have him upset with the justice system and that essentially they are hopeless. 
that they are just letting people get away with not only petty crimes, but horrible things such as murder, abuse, and other things I would rather not mention on this video in fear of demonetization. But hopefully you know what I'm getting at. In regards to how he got his powers, I don't think that is of any significance or needs to be a focus. They could just make it that in a previous season or even just recently he was affected by dark matter and maybe got like a, a zap of lightning and boom, he's got access to the speed force or something like that. They don't have to be too creative there. I don't think that needs to be too much of a focus. But if I had to compare what they should do with him on the show in regards to him as a character to another character that most people would be familiar with, I would compare him to the Punisher, essentially make him a speedster version of the Punisher. So no guns, just like phasing through chests and killing people with different speedster abilities. Now I would have it that his brother was killed. Like I would keep that as a, like what it was in the comics, but I wouldn't have that being like the sole reason as to why he's going about doing what he is doing. I would have it that growing up, he has seen a lot of people he knows go through hardship and nothing being done about it, whether that be the loss of loved ones, abuse, or all of that combined. And it's to be committed by various criminals, but nothing being you know done about that, none of those criminals being charged, or at least charged to a degree where that fits the crime. You know, the law force ignoring the lower end of the social spectrum, if you want to call it, and just allowing people to get away with heinous crimes. So once he gets his powers, he's going around saving innocent people in Central City, like we would see with The Flash, like saving people getting hit by, uh, before they get hit by cars, before they get shot in a robbery or anything like that. But he shows absolutely no mercy to those committing those crimes and just straight up kills them. Or if they are lucky, maybe if they're not committing that big of a crime, maybe if it's like a robbery or something, he will just heavily maim them in some way. Like they really could do something about the Godspeed name as well and have it that he was brought up religious or something like that and sees the powers that he has been given as like a blessing of some sort from God. And he has been given the powers in order to correct what is wrong with society. And that is by cleansing the criminals around him, which gives him the name of Godspeed because my powers are given to me from God. I am Godspeed or something like that. So even though he is out there saving people in Central City, just like Barry would do, He's also going that extra couple of yards and murdering the people rather than just, well, you know, locking them up like we would see the Flash do. This would create a great moral dilemma for Barry to deal with because Godspeed is, you know, technically making Barry's job easier in a sense in regards to helping more people out. So Barry doesn't have to go doing like street crimes if you want to call them all the time. But he is doing something Barry would never do. Well, if we exclude Sand Demon from episode two of season two, and that is commit murder. And they all... And also they could even have it that the general public and media believes that the Flash himself is the one committing these murders as people would be rescued and then see their assailants killed by some dude running around really fast. So it would be believable that people would think the Flash has just like randomly changed, you know, tune a bit and has decided to just rid the city of the problem before they hurt anyone else. So this once again creates another issue for Barry. Maybe this is how Iris gets involved and maybe you know, cleans up the Flash's reputation a bit. But this leads Barry to trying to stop Godspeed and not completely take him down, but just make him realize that what he is doing is wrong. But due to Godspeed being like so set out on cleansing Central City, you know, by murdering criminals, Barry is essentially forced to defeat him and lock him up. So Godspeed ends up being a constant annoyance throughout the season, at least the early parts of it, but maybe the whole season, but without being the main villain. He is the main issue for maybe like the first six to seven episodes before the real big bad properly shows up. Whoever that might be is still up for debate. It just matters, I guess, I guess well, like whatever fits the season in regards to the storylines and all the characters, I guess. Like really when it comes down to it, whoever the big bad is doesn't really matter in regards to the Godspeed story. But come the end of the season, Godspeed on the show is similar to what we see in the comics. He is that gray area. But come the end of the season, Godspeed on the show is similar to what we see in the comics. He is in that gray area. He isn't a villain. He isn't a hero. He was just seeking out justice and helping out Central City in a way in which he thought was right. But after that initial first part of the season, we do see him locked up. And Barry needing as much help as he possibly can has to reach out to August or Godspeed for his help. But similar to the comics, he has come to the realization that the way in which he was going about making Central City a cleaner and better city was definitely the incorrect and immoral way to do it. So when the season closes out, Godspeed is still alive, just locked back up in Iron Heights most likely. So to finish up, even though I know so many people want Godspeed on the show as a big bad, it would just stray off from what the comics are going for with the character. Now, yes, I know most people that want Godspeed as the villain probably haven't read the comics. I know that's a common theme with people that want Godspeed. I've already been told that many times, don't worry. But there would still be some comic readers that would want him to show up as a big bad. Maybe they could just change him up like I said before, but I think, I think that's just going away from what the character is. I just think that he suits the role I have, well, rolled out in this video and presented. I think that would be a great arc for the character that actually shows a redemption arc of sorts for a character that initially would have been 
labeled as sort of like pure evil or close enough uh, to that by some. But I think the anti-hero route is much cleaner and a better suit for the show rather than like, oh, Godspeed is a big bad. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions. Do you agree with what I put up in this video or do you think Godspeed should be a big bad and you disagree with me completely? Just let me know in the comment section down below. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.